It's the end of July already. What does that flashing light mean? I can't do this today. What's wrong with me? I'm gonna take this off and start from the beginning, I think. Start from the beginning. Hello, welcome to my July favourites video. Can't believe July is over with already. What is going on? I know that every single month I freak out about the fact that it's the end of the month, but seriously, this year has flown by. I don't know what I was going to say then. Thrown by? Flown by? I don't know. It's just gone. Anyway, <sighs> let's stop feeling glum about that. I feel like I have been thinking all month, oh, I'm going to put that in my favourite video. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that. That's one of my favourites this month. And then it's come to the end of the month and I've completely forgotten what my favourites were going to be. So there's just five items. So my first favourite is a hair product and it's Grapeseed Glossing Serum from The Body Shop. And I bought this quite a while ago when I was trying to do this hair routine that didn't involve using um, shampoos with sulfates in or conditioners with silicones in. Basically the sulfates, heavy like sulfate shampoo strips your hair of its natural oils and then products that have loads and loads of silicone in um, just build up on your hair. It's like a coating of plastic on your hair which makes your hair look really nice and glossy and shiny which is good but then if you put too much on it can kind of build up and make your hair look dull so it's kind of counterproductive um anyway so i was trying to do this thing um where i didn't use too much of that stuff in my hair so this one doesn't contain any silicones so it's all natural products and i just find because i was using if i can find it in my drawer don't know where it is but i was using this moroccan oil which which I like sometimes, but yeah, if you overuse it, it can kind of make your hair feel heavy and just not give it the shine that it needs in, in the long run. So using this, I just find is just a little bit lighter on my hair, especially now it's short. It doesn't really need, I don't know, too many heavy products and you don't really want to weigh it down. So yeah, it just, it's working for me at the moment. So I just, after I've washed my hair, just like, Put a tiny little bit in. Actually, I'm gonna add one more thing to my favourites because this is amazing. Right. Okay, the other thing that I use after I've washed my hair is this. It is L'Oreal Professional Siri Expert Colour 10 in 1. It's some sort of protecting spray, which basically says it does a million different things. What does it say? Perfecting multi-purpose spray for all colour treated hair types. 10, in 10 instant benefits to improve the look and feel of colour treated hair. 1 protection, 2 shine, 3 softness, 4 consistency of hair fibres, 5 smoothness, 6 detangling, 7 facilitate easier blow dry, 8 anti-breakage, 9 protects against the look of split ends, 10 helps reduce the look of frizz. Oh, so that's a lot of things that this is supposed to do. Now I'm not saying that it's a miracle spray that does all these things because this is my hair, but it definitely helps in just making it feel a little bit smoother when I've washed it. So yeah, we really love to use this. So I basically spray this on and then brush it through and then I will add a tiny bit of this to the ends. And you can also use this on dry hair as well. Yes, you can spread into hands yeah and apply to towel dried or dry hair I was just thinking can you I mean I do but whether you're supposed to but you are you can use it on dry or wet hair so it's helpful if your hair's feeling a little bit dry in the day and you just need a little clip okay so that's hair discussion over and my third favorite is this face cream and this is just the La, La Cura Q10 make from Aldi which is amazing because it's about 3 and um, so it's not going to break the bank. And this is what it looks like and it's so creamy. Like, obviously, I mean it's face cream, but it's like, it's just really, 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 really soft. And it just slides on like that. And it just kind of sinks into your skin quite quickly. So I pop it on my face in the morning. It's just a really nice day cream and it's got an SPF 20 in it as well, which obviously you should always have SPF in your face creams because like any time of year, any time of day, because I'm ginger and I can basically, I could get sunburn in bed at night, laying in a dark room, probably. But anyway, in all seriousness, it is good to have SPF in your face creams 
apparently it doesn't actually it doesn't mean that much to have it in your face creams and I've just completely like contradicted myself but I did hear somewhere last week that you'd have to have a lot of it on to actually protect yourself from you know if you were actually out in the sun all day long you need to put a little bit of actual sun cream on if you're going to be out, out in it but it just helps if you are just in and out of the sun you know anyway I don't know what I'm talking about apart from the fact that that face cream is good and it doesn't give me spots which is amazing because a lot of products do so yeah get some of that face cream if you want a new face cream give it a shot hopefully it'll work the same for you as it has done for me okay um my third no nope. I don't know another favorite of mine this month has been my new barbecue we completely failed at doing a barbecue a few years ago we tried to do a barbecue for Jim's family and we got one of those um just the cold barbecues where you light the coal and yeah get that to heat up anyway we completely failed I ended up turning the grill on and just cooking the burgers in the grill because it just wouldn't stay hot <laughs> so this year we decided we really really wanted to do a barbecue and we wanted it to work so we bought ourselves a gas barbecue um, it was £75 from Wilkinson's I can't exactly pick up the barbecue and show you right now because it's a barbecue um, but I will slot in some shots of the barbecue and just how a couple of my barbecues have gone recently here we go here's some shots there we go there's my barbecue looking beautiful I'm just making this up because I don't know what shots I'm going to be putting in. There's me and me and people. Me, <laughs> what am I talking about? What am I talking about? I presume there's a picture of me and some other people and a barbecue. Anyway, there's some lovely food. Food looks good, doesn't it? That was delicious food, to be fair. Anyway, there's my shots of the barbecue. Um, it was pretty much. It was a success. It literally, like, if you don't have a gas barbecue get a gas barbecue it just literally lights in seconds and just cooks your food immediately oh it tasted so good it was good it was a good barbecue so it was like 75 pound in the Salem Wilkinson's whether there's, whether they've still got any in stock I don't know but you might be able to get some bargains um on barbecues from elsewhere hopefully don't know why it was in the sale in the middle of like a scorching summer but not complaining not complaining at all it was amazing and we will hopefully have that barbecue forever and for many barbecues to come anyway next up um i'm going to talk to you about a game i have been playing i can't show you the physical oh, can i show you the physical game probably can't actually because it's in use i've just realized it is a game i wasn't sure whether it was downloaded or whether it was a game that i borrowed but it's in there it's inside there and it's a game that i borrowed from jim's brother anyway it's called bravely default here I am in the middle of playing it. That's just reflecting my camera, isn't it? There's, there's my camera. There's my camera light. That's all very exciting. But um, yeah, here I am wandering around. You can't see that at all. That's just a reflection. Anyway, that's completely pointless, wasn't it? I'm playing it on this. It's a 3DS game. It's called Bravely Default. It's basically a role-playing game and I love role-playing games because I love all the Final Fantasy series. Not all of them actually, I just love, I love some of the Final Fantasy games, you know, Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 9. Anyway, my point is, Jim didn't actually like role-playing games until I got him into them because he watched me play the entire game of Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 9 and now they're like his favourite games and he's never even actually played them um, but yeah he's been playing role playing games ever since and he played Bravely Default before me and completed it and then the second he completed it I was like give it to me I am going to play it and it's amazing really enjoying it it's really simple battle system sorry if you're not into games I'm just chatting about games I'm sorry I'm somebody who's into games and face creams Follow me if you're into games and face creams, please. <laughs> if you're not, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's just a really good game. I'm loving it. I'm trying to play more games now. As I said in the fir my first favourite video this year, I'm trying to put a game in every favourite video, but unfortunately, I can't complete a game in a month. I just can't do it. There's just a million other things to do. So unfortunately, there's been a little bit of space between when I last mentioned a game. But never mind. This is my favourite of this month because this is what I've been playing this month and probably will be playing for the next few months because Jim completed it in about 80 hours or something. I'm already about 20 hours in. I just take my time in these games. So it will probably be like double what Jim played it until I complete it. Anyway, really, really good game. 
very good game. I need to go play it now actually. Another thing I have been loving is my Audible, 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 I keep fucking saying it wrong, but I think it's called Audible. Um, that's Audible app, which I mentioned in my last favourite video. I've been listening to the book Echo Boy by Matt Haig. I've finally completed it. I've literally been listening to it on the way to work whilst I'm um, on my break, when I've been going for runs. I've just literally been listening to it every chance I get. It's amazing. Anyway, completed the book. I just find it so simple to just be able to listen to a book rather than having to find time to sit down and read a book. I know reading a book has got its... Um, a lot of people just like to have a book in the hand and actually sit down and read a proper book. But it was so good to listen to and I love that I'm getting to read books now. Listen to books? Can you still call it reading a book? I don't know. But anyway, I finished this book and Echo Boy was really, really good. I just need to give you a little description of yeah okay so this is what the blurb was if that's what they call it um on the book audrey's father taught her that to stay human in the modern world she had to build a moat around herself a moat of books and music philosophy and dreams a moat that makes audrey different from the echoes sophisticated emotionless machines built to resemble humans and to work for human masters Daniel is an echo, but not like the others. He feels a connection with Audrey, a feeling Daniel knows he was never designed to have and cannot explain. And when Audrey is placed in terrible And when Audrey is placed in terrible danger, he is determined to save her. Echo Boy is a powerful story about love, loss, and what makes us truly human. And it is basically that. I don't know how I can describe it any other way, to be honest. Um, it's just Matt Haig always has this way about talking about, because he's got another book called Humans as well that was, I don't know, he just has this way of describing the way of humans and I don't know, he always compares, just, he always incorporates, I don't know, machines or robots or aliens into stories and I don't know, it's always like hidden with messages about the human race and just how we are in the world and yeah, it's all very deep. but. It's a good book and it's basically just like a fictional book about this girl who lives in basically the future and there's all these robot things called Echoes and obviously they're supposed to just be like robots without feelings and things but there is somebody who is different and does have emotions um, and then yeah it's a really interesting story reader. I don't want to give away any spoilers basically so it's difficult to talk about. Anyway, they are all my favourites this month. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching and please stick around for more. Please click that little subscribe button um, and you can also press the, is there a red button or something? I don't know, there's some button that you, you press that gives you notifications so you don't miss any of my videos basically. Because you don't want to do that, do you? Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, I'm a bit weird.